Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through this look step-by-step, step, showing you how to get a very full glam look. And I'm mainly focusing on my complexion today because I wanted to show you that you could do a very full glam look and not use foundation. So I have zero foundation on my face right now. I wanted to show you how you can achieve that look and make it still look cohesive and blend together. So a huge thank you to Tarte Cosmetics for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. You guys already know and love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm sure, but they just came out with the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. So this is kind of like the creamier version, more hydrating version of this concealer. And it's designed for more dry to mature skin. So I'm gonna go into all about this concealer when I start applying my makeup. Um, but yeah, huge thank you to them for working with me on this video. I'm very excited to have a new concealer in my collection. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. I'm gonna start by Clipping down Fred and Andrew up here. My little baby hairs. Okay, so instead of just going into foundation, I'm gonna go straight into the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. I have the shade Light Neutral, which is my shade in the regular one. Let me open this up so you can see what this looks like. Got that same cushiony doe foot applicator. So this actually has an eye cream built into it to give you that 24 hour hydration. It gives that full coverage, that matte look with just that more moisturizing, hydrating feeling. Helps to smooth out the look of fine lines, wrinkles, stuff like that. It's crease proof and waterproof. So. What I like to do now, anytime I see anybody apply concealer, I feel like they really apply a lot, which is fine. I just feel like you really don't need that much, especially with something that is so full coverage because then you end up just wasting product because a little goes a really long way. So I just start with one dot per eye. So just go here and here, and then I'll go from there. I do know I have some breakouts and I really wanna cover those up. Even when I don't have breakouts, I like to still Kind of like if I know I'm just gonna be using concealer, I like to bring it other areas on the face just so that the finish matches. So I'll do just a little dot up here on the forehead and I'm gonna cover up any breakouts that I have. Always break out on my neck. And then over here, just have a little bit of discoloration. And now I'm just gonna grab a brush and just start blending this in. Go under the eyes. And you can see it's just a little bit more, almost creamier, more nourishing looking. Do you see the finish already? And I love more emollient concealers. Do you say emollient or emollient? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. This I see how like I can really bring it down in that area without really like applying a full blown triangle. Unless you really want that like look i just find i get the the coverage that i prefer just going with a little bit and you can always add more whatever's left over on my brush i'm just gonna hit the nose if i apply too much product on my nose my nose just never accept accepts product very well so I just do it when i have like the majority of it off of my brush then i'll just bring this up onto forehead so it's almost like you're going over your whole face but you're not like coating the whole thing with foundation just a little bit of the finish of the concealer. Covering up any blemishes. Everything is looking very seamless. So there you can see what that looks like with just the concealer. It's not like I applied like a full coverage of the concealer all over my face. It's just I kind of spot concealed and blended it in on my skin with most of the coverage underneath my eyes. And I feel like, especially when I'm just in a rush or just don't feel like doing like a crazy full glam look or I guess just spending time on a full glam look, this is just my go-to. Gives such a great look to the skin. It's honestly something I'm con contemplating doing for my wedding day just because I get so oily with a bunch of makeup on. And when I have less makeup on and just do spot concealing and concealing under the eyes, I feel like my makeup lasts so much longer. So yeah, let's move on. So now I'm gonna go in and do some cream bronzing. I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. Um, mine is really old and gross, uh, but this is one of my favorites. If you haven't seen my best of beauty for 2020, I will link it down below as well as right up here so you can check it out. Um, this was one of the things that I talked about in that video. I'm gonna take this and just start stippling this on my cheeks. Give me some warmth and bronziness to my skin. I just like to kind of push it into it like this. Get the forehead. 
The good thing about going with a rootier look with your hair is that I don't have to worry about getting my makeup in my hair. Normally when I'm like super, super bleached up top, I have to be so careful because I'll always get it in my hair and then I have to like wash it out. But yeah, that makes applying makeup so much easier. And then I'm gonna go into the Fenty Cream Blush in Rose Latte, which this looks really dark, which if you already have a deep complexion, this is gonna look absolutely stunning. If you have a lighter complexion like me, you really wanna go in with a very, very, very light hand. So I just go in with a couple taps, very light-handed, and then just lightly stipple it on the cheek. You can see even just that, I could go in with more. So don't be afraid of shades like this if you have a lighter skin tone. I always like to carry this to the rest of the face to make it look very cohesive. Just setting with powder, doing my normal powder routine. Just setting the under eyes. And now I'm gonna go into one of my favorite cream highlighters. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow On. This is in the color Sunbeam. I am just going to lightly pop that right on the, oh man, I just put on too much. It'll be fine, it'll blend out, but. Um, and then I'm just going to dot it on the nose and the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna try pushing it in instead of blending it around. Doing a little bit of nose contour. Okay, and that is it for the face. I am gonna show you how I do my brows and do an eye look too, just so you can see it all together. Um, I'm gonna do something very simple, but still somewhat dramatic, just so that you can see that even without foundation, you can do a very smoky full glam look and stuff like that. So I just wanna focus on the complexion here, make that the main focus of this video, um, and show you the new concealer. I'm really excited about it. It's definitely a concealer that is right up my alley. Um, make sure to check out the description box. I'll be linking all the products, including this but also right now Tarte has a bunch of different bundles I will link them down below in the description box um, bundles that include the new shape tape ultra creamy concealer so check that out I'll link all of it down below I'm gonna go into the elf ultra precise brow pencil in medium brown it looks like this and I'm gonna do my brows I actually haven't used this in a while and I included it in my yearly favorites so I thought I'd use it again because I I know I really love it Right now that my brows are done, I'm just going in with my paint pot from MAC in the color Painterly. I'm gonna do a very simple, basic, easy, smoky look with one of my favorite palettes, um, the Tarte Man Eater palette. I've used this a uh, bunch. This is definitely one of my, if not my top favorite palette. And I'm just gonna go in with some of the neutrals and smoke up the eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna go into Purr, do some crease action here. And then, once I've got the majority of that on, also gonna start laying that down on the lid, just like this. And then build up the color. So now I'm gonna go into Saucy, that one there, and just start popping this in the outer lid and just smoking this up. Okay, I'm also gonna take this underneath same thing. Then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a smaller brush and go into Midnight right here and just start pushing this on the outer lash line. Bring it in, kind of smoking up the whole lash line. I'm not gonna bring that underneath just because that is so deep of a shade. I'm not trying to go that dark on the bottom. Okay, I went in with the saucy shade, not the midnight shade, really close to the bottom lash line. And now I'm just buffing that out. And then already, see how that shade looks even smokier on the bottom than it does on the top? That's why I don't like to go in with my deepest shade that I'm using on the bottom, just because then it's almost, it looks too dark. Oh my gosh, do you see my bruise from kickboxing? Ooh. I want to add a little bit of this hypnotic shade. I honestly don't think I've ever used this shade before. Maybe just like once. I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush actually, like a flat fluffy brush. Pop this on the lid. It's a little bit of redness, a little berry-y. Also a little bit of shimmer, but it's not like crazy sparkly. So it's just gonna add a little bit of a sheen. And that warmth, Ooh. I don't know why I don't use this shade more. Do some highlighting action with, 
I'm gonna mix lace and passion together, these two, because this is pretty frosty. Um, so I just kind of want to diffuse it just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and pop it right here. Same thing up on the brow. I'm using the, is it Fake Awake? Yeah, I'm using the Fake Awake from Tarte. My waterline. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with mascara. They thankfully replenished my Man Eater mascara. One of my favorite mascaras. I'm just gonna go and pop on uh, two coats of this. Still not sure if I'm gonna do lashes or just mascara. Just popped on some lashes. I don't remember the name. They were just kind of like sitting out. But wow, I haven't worn lashes in so long. It feels so weird to have them on. But I'm glad I popped them on just to give it that more full glam effect. Um, so now I'm just gonna do super easy, typical lip for me. Neutral, of course. Gonna go into cork lip liner from MAC. I'm going to line, overline, and fill in my lips with this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Buxom Fly Girl to um, the lips. <laughs> just pop it right on top. It has a little bit of a sheen. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is the final look. I love it. I know it's a very typical look for me, but I really just wanted to focus on doing a very, very natural complexion, not going overboard with coverage. So you can see that you can still do an over-the-top glam smoky look and still make it very full glam over the top with a very natural complexion and it doesn't look like it doesn't match it doesn't look like you've got really crazy smoky eyes and like nothing on your face it still pairs nicely together i really love the way that this look turned out and this is kind of like what i tend to gravitate towards is just doing something very very natural on the skin as far as complexion goes and just covering the important areas that i want covered and then focus on the rest of the look. So you can obviously do this in a more natural way. You can do an even more dramatic look. I just wanted to put one of my typical smoky looks together and show you how you can pair it with a more natural complexion and still look very full glam. So a huge thank you to Tarte for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm really excited that they came out with an ultra creamy version of the Shape Tape Concealer. I love the iconic Shape Tape Concealer. I know you guys do too. So if you have a chance to check this out, please let me know if you end up trying it out and if you end up liking it. Or if you've tried the Shape Tape Concealer before, the original, and you just prefer something a little bit more creamy, try this out and let me know what you think because this is amazing. It's just like, it's more hydrating sister. I just love it. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you wanna see next from me down below. Make sure to check out that description box. I'm gonna link all the products that I use in this video along with all of the bundles that Tarte has right now with the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.